So I want to thank everybody again for their time here today. We are joined by Ruth Johnston. She is NMSU's Vice Chancellor, and we also have Gina Jones, Assistant Vice President for Human Resource Services at NMSU. So it's uh, of, of no surprise to anybody that our entire landscape continues to shift during this time. How has NMSU's Human Resource Services adapted to these changes? Uh, thank you, Justin, and thank you for the opportunity to share with the group. Um, I think the, the biggest change is the tele, telework, and it's a, it's a new change for everyone, uh, but it certainly is an opportunity to do new things, learn new technology, and that's what we're hearing from employees, is they're learning how to, how to do more on the computer, they're, they're learning new skills, and so we are trying to support them in those, those learning opportunities. So. We're looking at different types of trainings and development skills, developing the skills of our employees. Um, the HR website um, is being uh, tapped into a lot more now. So we want our communication to be as, as simple and uh, easy to access as we can. So we're, we're vamping at uh, various, various areas of the website. Um, also processes, being more efficient. Uh, the best we can. I think the electronic signature has made a significant change for our hiring managers and and uh, supervisors and even our employees. It makes it much more simpler to get get uh, get things done. So, really, our goal is to continue to look for our efficiencies and and really one other area I want to mention is is recognizing employees for the work that they do. So we want to find ways to look for rewarding and recognizing our employees. Excellent. So uh, the NMSU system includes community colleges in Alamogordo, mm -hmm. Carlsbad, Grants, and around Doniana County. Ruth, what's happening with their campuses? Thanks for asking, Justin. I was able to talk with each of the presidents to find out what was happening across our state as well as here in Las Cruces. And I think everyone is both incredibly resilient and understanding the challenges that they have to work through. And so while people are excited about being able to work from home and the impact on our earth in terms of sustainability, uh, people are having some issues with figuring out how to balance work life and kids at home. Um, but I'm also hearing stories of supervisors who have like, oh, I didn't think this could work so well. I really trust my employees. They're doing really great work for us and, and we can tell the productivity from what they're doing. Uh, we have some issues with um, internet access um, around the state, and I think the community colleges have done an amazing job of trying to uh, make their parking lots wired so that students can come and some of the staff can come, and everyone has been incredibly uh, resilient around sharing computers and, and even taking home uh, chairs if they need it for ergonomic purposes. Oh, wow. So uh, goal four of NMSU's strategic plan, which is NMSU leads 2025, that goal calls for building a more robust university system. How does everything that we're talking about today align with that goal? Well, fortunately, I co-chair that with Andy Burke and Gene is one of the members of the team. So I think we'll both talk a little bit about that. But what a wonderful thing we decided to do in creating one of the goals being building a robust university system. Mm -hmm. it, that is foundational to everything that we do. And in fact, so many of the plans that we started talking about last fall, like Zoom, like telework, are things we're actually ready to roll with uh, when this pandemic hit. Uh, we've done a lot of other things too. There's virtual tours for the students now. Uh, students are uh, getting advising online. Uh, we're doing all kinds of process improvement. Um, you know, we did a call for low and no cost ideas and those are being implemented now. We started uh, figuring out ways to recognize and so we have the shout out. So I would say that robust university is alive and well. And in fact, it's foundational for being able to achieve the other three goals that we have. Gina? Yes, and I would add to that, um, the climate study action team is really working together to look at the various areas that we identified in the climate study for employees and the team is made up of a diverse group of individuals, faculty and staff, uh, representatives from community college and, and they are well on their way with sub teams, looking at the areas of comp uh, compensation and and benefits and communication and trust. So we're pretty excited and, and ready to get going. And, and we hope to 
to get all of our employees involved in that process. And I would just add one more thing, uh, Justin and Gina, and I think we're all experiencing it, that people are just being really kind. Yes. And we've heard the president say that over and over again at the end of the town halls, be kind, but we're seeing amazing evidence of it. And I just really want to applaud our whole community for rallying around this on behalf of our students, but also on behalf of our community. You know, our students, our faculty, our staff, everybody's affected by this and our ability to make a difference for each other is really evident. Yeah, I couldn't yes, agree more. Sure. I, I really appreciate the extra kindness. I think everybody else does as well. That's right. Okay, well, thank you both for your time here today. Really appreciate it. Take care now. Thank you. Thank you.